What is up guys, hope you're all doing well. A bit of a special video for you today. We are here in a secret location, so I thought, because <laughs> we've got a nice review for you today. All the way from the Australia, the land of Oz, g'day mate. We have got the BT Engineering petrol powered cut off saw. This is an absolute animal and I'm happy to review it for you today. We're gonna to go over lots more details about the saw, the specification, what it can do, and there isn't much it can't do. So what I'll do, I'll take it home after and, and hook it up to the water supply and get some, some wet cuts for you as well. BT Engineering have got a bit of a cool status over in Australia. Established in 1967, and they're regarded as number one tool manufacturer with over 80% of the market share. All the stuff's made from Australian steel and to be fair guys, it looks bang on quality and I've not even got it going properly yet. Simon at BT Engineering got in touch with me because he wants to get more of these saws into the UK market and rightly so, I think they'll do really well over here. They'll certainly make my life easier. Just this demo here, remember when I built that last summer? It took me ages and I made loads and loads of cuts, so this tool is going to save me so much time and make me cuts more uniform and neater. They sell over 800 of these saws in Australia and I think it's time to get moving into the UK because I think a lot of people will benefit from these, certainly me. It's enough of the chit chat, without further ado let's get stuck into the review. So we're going to go over some details of the saw now. First of all we've got the base unit, it's just box section, everything's Australian steel and we've got a nice foot pedal so we can adjust the saw with our feet, our foot. Here we've got some tubeless tyres, it's real dense foam or rubber, they'll last a lifetime for sure. And it's actually detachable this base unit from the uh, main saw tray. The saw and base unit locks onto this here and you just attach it with this here that's good it's got some nice handles on it so you can just wheel it about dead, dead easy i mean it's pretty heavy don't get me wrong it is quite heavy uh, but you know it's handy that you can just wheel it about and just put it in your back of your van and stuff and i have no problem with that so the base unit of the saw that's got a nice uh, it's got a nice plug hole in obviously for your water drain release when you've got the, the water hose attached to it. We've got a sliding base plate here where you can lock all your bricks and blocks in. This is fantastic, this, this invention here. So the way this works, I will show you later on in detail, but you can change the angle of this, you know, and you've got your, your splits to make and different angle bricks. Then you can lock that into position. You can also slide this along here. Right. Same with this side, just use this to lock your paver down. And that also moves, you can take this off if you want, but that also slides along, depending on what you're cutting. Now moving on to the power for the disc, it's a Honda GX200 engine. I think I've seen a few of these before on lawnmowers, but I've had it running, it's superb. This is your speed here says the minimum tortoise, maximum rabbit or her. And then we've got a fuel line here, it's currently off, and that's our chalk for when we're starting it. So that's smart. At the side here, we have a really well built metal hose connector, and we've already got that attached to the water. That's closed, and that's to open the line, the water line. If we just move around to this side, and it's belt driven the disc, and it's all covered in by this nice steel guard, really well built. And this is an adjustment for the height of the saw. Okay, you can just place that, all right, and, and place it to where you want and then lock it into position. The foot pedal, it attaches to the main saw base here with this at the back. Just a pin insert there, put that in, and that's how you can control your saw height. Simple as that. Okay guys, moving on to the right side as I look at it. Now this is a really handy piece of kit, this. The water hoses supply water to both sides of the disc, which is really handy. And what I really love about this feature is you can actually switch the water and control the water supply through this button on the top here, which is absolutely awesome. So you can just lock that in, like so. Yeah, and just turn it off, like that. So we're on. And we're off. That's, that's unbelievable, that brilliant. Got a nice, solid guard for the disc here, which is really important, obviously. And finally, last but not least, we are onto the disc, which is an absolute beauty. And it's got a, a cutting depth of, ready, 125 mil, boom. So that's absolutely awesome. That's gonna save me a lot of time. 
especially when I'm doing all my intricate cuts. Now this is the sliding base. It's got a 500 millimeter cutting length, so that's decent. Just a quick note before you operate a saw like this guys or any powerful machinery, always make sure you wear your PPE. I've got that ready here. I've got my ear defenders, some gloves. I've got a dust mask and some goggles that cover all my eyes. What do you reckon of that? Look at that. Beautiful. Well, I'll tell you what folks. Dream come true to me. That's going to make my life so much easier. I'm going to be able to make so many more variety of videos with all the arches and the, the, the ideas I've got. This is going to make my life a lot easier. So thank you very much for BT Engineering for sending me over one. Yeah, I really believe in this. It's awesome. If you want to get your hands on one of these guys, there is a stockist in the UK, only one called SES Tools. I'll leave a link in the description. Go and get one yourself. They're doing an electrical version or a petrol version. I mean, I don't really need to say anything. The results speak for themselves, don't they? But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like rating. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one.